let, let me say this. Uh, when music, you know, just like movies, books, music albums, singles, music videos, once you put that out there, whether you like it or not, people are going to say whether they like it or not. You know what I'm saying? Like there's music reviewers who review for certain outlets such as Rolling Stone, Complex Magazine, so on and so forth. These people rate and review albums. Uh, a lot of people within the YouTube space and the podcast spaces have now started reviewing albums and music as well. So everybody is going to review it, whether you're a fan with no platform or whether you're somebody with a platform. It's not necessarily judging, but when you put music out there, just like when you put a movie out there, people are going to critique it. The movie people critique it and they give it a two thumbs up or they give it a two thumbs down. Well, me with records, I listen to it. And if it's good, I'm going to give it five. If I feel like it's classic and it's worthy of a five mic classic, I'm going to say that. But if it's trash and I know that it's fucking trash, I'm going to say that wholeheartedly. Now, I know that hurts people's feelings and that makes people upset with me. You know what I'm saying? But I really don't care about that because I am brutally honest. And that is what is missing. They are missing that type of old school flavor, the flavor that you used to find on Showtime at the Apollo. When you got up in front of them people, you either had your teeth together or your ass got booed off stage. That's period, point blank. And I feel like the same rules should apply within music today. Because if that were the case, 98% of what we hear, we would not hear. 